shovel. Yeah, I saw that. Don't worry, we got something that's gonna get him back. If I may picture it, the hero must vanquish his enemy, but the weapons of the old gods are insufficient, so he must pray upon the altar. Jesus, skip the story. The story is everything, you Neanderthal. Brad? Hmm? You are such an asshole. And now you're caught up. I thought everyone knew. Yeah, I did too. She's a nubile, young, wooden info with a really complex backstory, CW. If I may. Nope. The man won a Nebula Award. It was 1973. I mean, you met him at a state fair when he was selling rotisserie chickens. Also award-winning. Are we apologizing to the Nazis or on their behalf? Neither. We came up with a system. Well, the NCAA. CW's in the shot. Well, I don't know where the camera is. How can you not see it? It's right here. Oh, does it, uh, does it pick up this? Hmm? And that's a cut. Thank you for that, CW. Come on, man, we talked about this, buddy. You gotta be quiet, okay? CW, let's go, zip it up. Find somewhere else to peddle your digital smut. I refuse to write another word until this office is restored. It's too bad because I was just about to ask you to join the stream team. Uh, Maybe write Dana a little backstory. Backstory? Whoa, whoa, sitting in my chair, huh? huh? But you have taken my office, Brad, in retaliation. I have taken yours. It's a power move. I like that. Kudos. Well, what the hell is that? Oh, this thing? It's an AI server that can spit out a brand new backstory for Dana. <laughs> It's preposterous. A computer cannot write a story, dear boy. Oh, it can. And you know what? It already has. See? Just took about three seconds. You want to read it? Oh, please. That monstrosity isn't able to generate a story with the emotional resonance of a Nebula award-winning writer. Brad? Brad? Weird. I have returned. What are you doing, bud? It, 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 it is a he. Isn't it? Please, God, tell me it's a he. No. It's an air conditioner. But it, 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 it wrote such beautiful prose. No, the story that I gave Dana was some of your old writing. I took it from one of these books over here. Uh, yeah, Inside the Caves of Beneroth. Hmm. You wrote this in the 80s. How could you oh. not remember this? Admittedly, the, uh, the 80s were also a bit of a blur. Okay, whatever. The machine is undone! A <laughs> man lives to fight another day! <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so are you gonna join the stream team or what? Because I'm not gonna be able to pull this off without you. Yes, indeed. My prose shall flow from her beautiful tongue. Okay, um, you gotta stop talking about people's tongues. Oh, loosen up, man. Yeah, whatever. Have fun writing. Uh-huh. Okay. What up, Bradley? Ooh, rocking the merch from the fight. I sold a shit ton of those. So I shall go with the flow and be swept away on the riptide of mediocrity. I mean, what do I know? <laughs> Fry? Okay, he's going through something. Just enjoying America's best-selling beverage while watching the japery of some <laughs> crippled buffoon. <laughs> Roscoe, classic. Yeah, I mean, millions of people love him, so must be good, right? Is he acting out? Yeah, like an eight-year-old. So with that, I would like you to welcome. And so a new challenger has entered the ring. A dark and evil rogue to match his villainous confederate. His name? Brad. Brad what? Brad from Monetization. Oh, come on, man. Don't be such a dick. <sighs> Who is it? If it's CW, decline it. No, it's J. Alfred Proofrock. J. Alfred. No, 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 don't, don't. Aha! My deception worked. Forgive this uh, cloak and dagger routine, but I must speak with someone. My very life is at stake. Hey, how's your life at stake? Did you get the virus? Worse. You know what? I'm gonna help. Oh, thank you, Brad. Oh, sorry, not you. I'm gonna get David a date. The man is an unsellable loot box. Much more challenging.